The 2024 Pokemon World Championship has come to an end and we have crowned three new VGC World Champions, that being Kevin, Ray, and Luca. Now, we will jump into their games in a second and just kind of, you know, briefly go through them. But I will say this is not going to be a long video like the last two, as there are only our three games to really talk about. Um, and really, I just want to have, you know, just a little discussion about World in general, kind of talk about what's coming up next and yeah, go from there. So to kick us off today, we had the Junior World Championship between Kevin Hahn and Tatsuyomi. Now, Kevin Hahn, for anyone who doesn't know, has basically been dominating uh, the regionals this year, um, dominating the internationals as well, as you guys can see here at the bottom. He is the NAIC and EUIC champions for 2024. Uh, I believe he was also a seven-time regional champion coming to this event as well, which is kind of crazy. Uh, you also see there, like, top 16, you know, two years ago as well in London. Uh, very, very talented player, especially for his age. Uh, and the Tatsuyomi here, much younger, um, you know, has, you know, obviously had some good showings, getting second place at Worlds here too. Uh, was very, very good. Um, yeah, that was a bit of a spoiler. I just realized, but yes, Kevin Hart didn't go on to win this event. Now, again, Kevin played absolutely phenomenally. Um, he definitely, in game one, probably tried to play a little too slow. I think my one criticism of him would be today that he did set up his trick room and then just kind of stole out his own trick room, just click and protect. Uh, but nonetheless, he did play incredibly well. Um, and Tatsuyomi here too did make some very, very good reads as well. Um, you know, bringing back game one, I think was very, very impressive. The way he was able to use the Chiyu basically to nuke out the... Uh, the Incineroar and the um, Raging Bolt. I think he did like 90% to the Bolt with a Dark Pulse. And then he also just one-tapped the um, the Incineroar when it was Terra Ghost as well. So definitely did a good job fighting uh, fighting back here. But Kevin Hahn was able to take, you know, take home the big dub um, on the back of his Calyrex IC. Now, again, I could go in-depth on this, guys. Um, just tell us what I did the last couple of days. But what I will say is this. This is the World Championships. Um, if you can't watch any games, go watch them. Again, this was a really good set. Um, I do think, you know, Tatsuyomi here bringing the Iron Treads out was really cool. Seeing Zamazenta to get this close to winning Worlds as well was awesome. Uh, but yeah, it was an awesome set, honestly. You know, two very young, talented players. Definitely, you know, the future is bright for VGC. Um, and these kids, they, you know, they put on a very good performance. Um, and yeah, Kevin Hunt was able to take it home. So for the seniors finals, we had Ray Yamanaka versus Luke Kroll. Now, this was another fantastic set. Um, very, very close. There was a lot of reads that... We're very, very... It, look, it, again, it's a set you have to watch, right? Game three, again, this one went to three. Ray did end up pulling it off. Um, this was, again, unbelievable set. It was really, really well played by both guys. Um, I will say Luke got incredibly unlucky in game three. Um, and again, this is something I'll kind of touch on later on in the video, um, especially about a future video I'm going to be touching on. But to see game three almost decided by a Draco Meteor miss uh, was heartbreaking. Luke, you know, he clicked Draco Meteor into the Kali. The Kali didn't Terra um and he just missed it it's it is what it is again it was a fantastic set i don't actually know if the draco miss mattered simply because they would have been trading mariadon for um mariadon for cali on that turn you know luke did almost pull it back I, we actually you know we got really hyped there was like we were like holy shit like is it has he actually just won this did he just like turn one loses mariadon tag zero damage um and yeah it ended up just getting to a stage where i thought he had spirit break on the other uh, grim snarl apparently he had foul play uh, but look, nonetheless, two really cool teams here. Obviously, um, Ray rocking a very standard Calyrex balance team here. Uh, Luke ran a very cool variant of the, you know, the Mariadon HO. Obviously, he has, you know, Mariadon. He has Iron Feet, Urshifu, um, and Giraffe, all pretty staple on this team. Uh, seeing the Entei over things like Chiyu and Ogre Pond Hurtplane was very interesting. But nonetheless, obviously, it does put on quite a lot of pressure. Um, and Grimstyle has been another one we have seen paired with Mariadon because essentially the game plan is, you know, your Mariadon kind of wants to pivot around, you know, clicking vault switches and whatnot. So having screens there obviously is really good. Um, but yeah, as I said before, you know, this is this is the World Championship, man. Go watch it. You know, this is only the sure the Senior World's Finals, yeah? But two very, very good players. A lot of cool stuff happened in this set. Um, it was very, very tight. Very good game. I'm incredibly hyped. Uh, yeah, I would highly recommend checking it out. And then finally, to wrap us up for the World Championships, we had Luca versus Yuta. Now, once again, this was an incredibly um, good set. Very, very hype. You know, watching Luca pop off when he won was, um, honestly, it was really motivating, dude. Seeing how happy he was, I was like, damn, you know, this kid, like, I'm so happy for him. You know, he's, he's obviously, you know, you have a look here. He's been playing since 2017, uh, at least. I don't know how long he's actually been playing for, but obviously an incredibly good young player, um, you know, and yeah, just... It was awesome to see. Um, and look, the set was also great too, because I think a lot of people coming into this set looked at it and said, hey, Yuta probably has the advantage here, right? He has the Scarf Landorus, right? He has the Kali Ice. Both have really good matchups into um, the Mariadon. You know, the, the Iron Valiant as well was an interesting one in this matchup. A lot of people thought, you know, hey, like this Valiant's probably going to be, you know, the difference maker. Uh, Valiant came and then it was, you know, game one. Um, a really, really good read, you know, turn one. I believe it was a lead of Landorus and off memory, Urshifu. Uh, versus, I think it was Mariadon Urshifu, or something along those lines, and, um, no, I think it was Mariadon Kali, uh, sorry, <laughs> God, Mariadon and Giraffe, and 
there was just this really cool play where he basically just predicted no sorry no I, what am i saying no it was it was pelipper landorus game one and maridon giraffe no sorry maridon urshifu and basically what happened was that he you just predicted the terra fairy to come out and he went terra ghost um sludge bomb and he just he swapped hard into the iron hands the urshifu click surging strike um even through the terra ghost it killed which was really interesting too because i think a lot of us were like why did you like terra ghost there if he's just gonna die anyway like you're not terroring to avoid damage coming out of maridon you're dying to the the urshifu anyway because you set the rain um and then yeah that basically just allowed you know luca to kind of control game one game two also looked like that you know luca was kind of in control then you just like you know he pulled it out and then like game three it came down to a call on turn one where i believe it was the maridon and the um I think it was the Maridon and the Ogopon versus the Iron Valiant and the Calyrax on turn one. Uh, Utah went for the coaching. Um, uh, the, uh, the what's it called? The Fire Ogopon went for the Follow Me. And then uh, Luca just dropped the Draco on the uh, the head of the um, the Calyrax and it, it took like 90%. Um, and yeah, it was really rough. And of course, I think I skipped the thing in game two where um, in game two, uh, Amoongus lived on two HP, uh, which was insane. Like I did the calcs, like there was a good chance Amoongus died. Uh, meaning, you know, Luca would have got a clean 2-0. Uh, but, you know, yeah, the, the, the Gussie lives. Um, and, yeah, we ended up going to 3. But, again, it was incredibly hype set. One of the best, you know, Worlds Finals I've seen in a very long time. So I would definitely recommend going and checking that out. Um, but, yeah, again, massive shout-out to Luca, Massive shout-out to Ray and Kelvin, obviously, all becoming, you know, uh, becoming World Champions. Because that's, you know, it, it's no easy feat. A lot of people sit here and, you know, I saw people giving Wolf shit for the 9-0 to 9-3. I, I don't think people realize how tough these tournaments are, man. Um, when you're playing at Worlds against the best of the best, it is very, very hard to be the last man standing. So, yeah, honestly, massive shout out to all three of them. To write us out here, I will just have the uh, the ending part of the trailer playing out here. Um, as there are just a couple of things I want to talk about here. So, essentially, um, World for 2025 and 2026 was announced. So, I believe Anaheim 2025 and San Diego, was it San Diego 2026? Um, basically, both, sorry, San Francisco, not San Diego. So, yeah, Anaheim, San Francisco, um, two back-to-back -back California World Championships, which is very interesting. Um, obviously, that's going to be three consecutive in America. Um, personally, I'm excited to hopefully go to Anaheim next year, um, going to San Fran um, the year after. Um, also, you know, probably pretty cool. Um, obviously, i got to qualify for both the events, but even as a spectator, going to one of them would definitely be awesome. Um, so, yeah, that was uh, obviously the big announcement. Um, another big thing as well is no legends ea news um you know we've got tcg pocket we got go unite all that kind of stuff we got nothing for the mainline games uh so essentially um yeah we're kind of stuck on the um yeah we're kind of stuck on pokemon scarlet and violet without any news of what's coming next uh that's basically kind of where we stand um i guess the question then becomes what is next for me uh vgc all that kind of stuff um obviously with today ending uh the start of the 2020 25 season is officially here for all of us uh, obviously some of us did start our 2025 seasons early uh last month but now officially uh with worlds done we're all we're all on to the next one now um so that's you know obviously pretty exciting um obviously regulation h is officially kicking off in like a week and a half now two weeks however long it might be um and that's pretty cool obviously you know i was pumping out the content before worlds for it and i was having a lot of fun with, with it uh the channel was growing a lot too which was really really exciting as well um and i guess like I, a massive thank you to everyone as well who kind of you know came through with the worlds um the world type because yeah the the last two videos i put up are definitely the um the most watched videos i've ever had or at least i think one of them will be and one of them definitely is so yeah that's um that's really exciting for me too and i just want to say like a massive thank you obviously i i streamed both days um as well for worlds i had way more viewers than i thought i would i seriously thought when i streamed i'd be lucky to get 20 people uh and yeah the saturday and sunday i had like 200 plus for most of the day so that was that was pretty cool and honestly i, I really appreciate everything so um yeah, with that, guys, that's that's Worlds done. I mean, you know, I've watched every game live. If you if you want to go back and watch me react to them, the live streams are there. Um, I will be putting out all of the championship games, you know, later today. I don't know if it'll go up before this video, after this video, whatever it might be. Um, but yeah, they'll be, you know, they'll be going up. Um, and yeah, it's on to the next one. Break H is officially starting. You know, I should hopefully in the next month or so start prepping for World. Oh, sorry, for Worlds. Uh, for my first regional, I'm just waiting on the, uh, the Melbourne, oh, sorry, the Australian circuit to be announced um but yeah honestly everything's looking pretty good you know the lack of new game does suck um people you know i think riddler crew for anyone who follows the leaks did say that later this year we should hopefully be getting um you know we should hopefully be getting more information on the games but you know we'll you know i'll believe it when we see it you know so hopefully za comes out soon hopefully you know we're playing worlds or at least vgc on plza um because you know four years of skull and violet does sound pretty rough to me um but who knows you know i heard joe ux9 uh you know talking about a potential you know 
maybe like when we return to reg g after reg h maybe you know we get an update that gives us things like the xy legends you know, gives us the tapus gives us the um the ultra b something like that you know that would be really really cool um yeah anyway guys that's it for me i i, I do apologize i feel like i maybe should have recapped this one more but I, I honestly for worlds i think you need to go watch the games like these are the these are the games where you, I, I don't think you should be skipping them um but yeah anyway guys i guess if you like this kind of stuff and you want to you know come along on the ride um we're well on our way to 10k subs now so i do appreciate you i appreciate everyone who you know helped out or followed over the last week um it, it was really really cool and i love to um i love to see the channel grow like this so yeah anyway guys that's for this one i'll uh, catch you guys in the next one peace